Hey, I got an email this morning from one of my readers on the blog, Paul. He's saying that, uh, uh, that uh, let me quote that. Uh, my manager has run out of work for me to do. I get paid to wait around with my expertise until it's needed. I'm bored, so I have to make up work or study my own things. However, I have a harder time finding useful things to do on my own. Yes, this is my weakness. Paul, this is not just your weakness. This is the way full-time employment works. This is full-time work by definition. And many, or the, the vast majority of those full-time employments are the bullshit jobs, as uh, uh, this famous um, book just published this year uh, called them. And I call them office slaves, which is the same. Bullshit jobs, office slaves, uh, strong names for the same problem. Uh, that's by definition what happens. If you're employed full-time, then, um, then your life is in the hands of your employer. Your time, your life, your income, your future, everything. The employer take control, takes control of what's going on. The employer gives you what to do. The employer uh, decides whether you're going to work tomorrow or you're going to not work tomorrow. Whether you'll be busy or you'll be just sitting in the office doing nothing. And then you start complaining about that. You start complaining saying that you're bored, you, are not, you don't have enough interesting work, you, don't, you want to be useful but you can't find those useful things. What can I suggest? The only way to solve that is to move from the full-time employment to freelance mode. So start taking control of your own life by becoming a freelancer. What I mean by freelancer? The freelancer is the person who chooses which project to work for. You have no guarantee that you will get the next you know, piece of work tomorrow. You have no guarantee that you will stay in the project for longer than a few days. There is no guarantee about anything. but. You have multiple projects. You have the freedom to move from project to project. It's your decision which job, which system, which idea to contribute to in every particular moment of time. The question is, how do you do that? That's, you know, it sounds great. It sounds interesting. Everybody would say, yes, I need that. I want to be free. I don't want any employer to control my life. I want to control it. But what, but what about money? Uh, we need to be sure that the same or bigger amount of money will come in when we switch from a full-time guaranteed bullshit job with the office as an office slave to, to the freelance mode, mode where we are free, we're just uh, you know, swinging from project to project, deciding where to help and, and being paid $200 an hour. That's, that sounds like a great idea, but in reality, it's not going to happen because we have not enough platforms in the world which will help us to do that. We have Upwork, which is a great platform for, you know, for, some, for some jobs, for some assignments, but it's still quite small. They announced, I remember the news in their IPO um, announcement, that they have 400 thousand uh, freelancers registered. I'm not sure how many of them are active freelancers, but still 400,000 sounds like a very small number. Keeping in mind that there are not only programmers there, there are many uh, remote assistants, translators, graphic designers, whatever. And at the same time, we have about 20 million programmers in the world. So compare the numbers, 400,000 and 20 million, and, may, and, and keep in mind that 400,000 are not only about programmers. So it means that Upwork as a primary, you know, number one platform covers only a fraction, a small fraction uh, of the entire market. That means that we're still in the era of full-time employment and the majority of us, most of us, are actually uh, sitting in the office and doing the bullshit uh, slavery jobs. That's the reality, unfortunately, but it will change. I strongly believe that the world is moving towards remote work and freelance work. And statistics say the same. I was preparing some, uh, you know, business document just a few weeks ago and I found many numbers saying that, uh, statistically speaking, uh, people are working remotely more and more uh, often and more and more people decide to stay home instead of going to the office. But keep in mind that remote work doesn't mean uh, freelance mode because working remotely you can still be a full-time employee.
you can still get your salary every month. The true freelance is when you choose where you work and how you charge and you work at many projects at the same time. That's freelance mode. And you charge for your uh, results, not for your time. That's the ideal, uh, the ideal formula. I believe that the future for freelance and the future for employment in general will not contain companies anymore. And I said that in one of my uh, presentations, uh, I think three years ago, where I was uh, speaking about no office mode and no company mode. My message is that in the future, we will not have companies. We will not have, well, offices we may be, uh, we may still need because, you know, we need like safe place and comfortable place to work, but there will be no companies. There will be only projects. Instead of being assigned to a company from this day to that day for three years as a company employee, I will be an expertise provider, an expert who is moving from project to project. And when the project needs me, I get in, I stay with the project for some time, I contribute to it, and then I move to another project. There will be multiple projects available on the market. There will be multiple employee, employees and programmers and experts available on the market. And there will be platforms which know how to connect them together for a, for a uh, part-time assignment. When the project needs us, we join in. When the project doesn't need us anymore, we move to another project. We will not be fired anymore. It's not going to be a, a traumatic uh, event in our lives. There will be just a moment of time when we are not needed there anymore for some reason, maybe because we're not good enough, maybe because the project is finished, maybe because they run out of money, maybe because the market uh, moved somewhere else and, and the market demand is somewhere else now, then we just move to another project. The better the expertise, the more professional we are, the more, uh, the higher is the demand for us, the, the easier for us to find the next project, the more the project will pay. When platforms like Xerocracy will be way more developed than now, way more uh, professional and ready for that new market, the market will change. And Paul will not be that uh, frustrated about that situation. Paul will know that if he's staying full time and he's bored because the, the employer is not giving enough tasks, he can move to the freelance mode and become demanded by the market and become well compensated and become in charge of his own life and his own time. So that's how the future will look. No companies, no offices, no full-time employment, just projects who combine expertise, combine experts for part-time endeavor, then finish that, that deal and then let the people go. How soon that will happen, I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned.